In this video, let us see about deleting a node from a binary search tree. So there are three cases. First is deleting a node that has no children. Second case is deleting a node with one child. Third case is deleting a node with two children. So let us first consider the case one. So before moving to case one, let me just recall for you what is a binary search tree. So in a binary search tree, we always have the left child to have a value lesser than the root node and the right child will have a value greater than the root node, right? So now let us see the case one. So if we have to delete, so in this example tree, if we are supposed to delete the node 78, so node 78, if we have to delete it, how are we going to deal with it? So this 78 is a node which has got no children there is no left and there is no right right so it is just that if you have to delete this node 78 you can just delete it from the tree so the updated tree will look like this so the node 45 and then 39 56 next is 54 and the node is deleted, 78 is deleted and then we have 55. So there is no issue when we have to delete a node which has got no children. Now, let us move to case 2. So case 2, if we have to delete a node that has got one child. So say for example, that we have to uh, delete a node 54 from, from the tree. So deleting the node 54, fine. So if we have to delete this node 54, then what is the condition that we have to, what is the changes that, that we are supposed to make here is if we have to delete this node 54, we have to replace since as it has got one child, okay. So we have to set now the uh, child will be set as the uh, node's parent, okay. So or, or in the other words, since here the uh, node 55 is staying on the right, right? So if the node is the right child of its parent, then the node's child will become the node's parent, fine? So this 55 will now become, the child will now become the parent, fine? So let us uh, write down. And if the node is the left child of its parent, then the node's child will become the node's parent, okay? Fine. So let us now uh, draw the updated tree. So we'll have the uh, tree here as 45, then 39, 56. And now this is going to be 78. And now the child node 55 will be replaced with the node 54. Fine. This is the updated tree. Now let us consider the case 3. So what is a case three is deleting a node which has got two children. Okay, fine. So say that we are supposed to delete the uh, node 56. Okay, so deleting the uh, node 56. Deleting node 56. Now, so if I have to delete this node 56, how do we delete it? So let us see that if we have to delete the node uh, 56. Now you can either replace this node's value with its in order predecessor. It is in order predecessor. What does this in order predecessor mean? Is the largest value in its left subtree. Okay, so the largest you can replace with any largest value in the from the left subtree or you can even replace with its in order successor. What is this in order successor? So in order successor means replacing with the smallest value, replacing with the smallest value in the right subtree. Replacing with the smallest value in the right subtree. Fine. So let us now deal with this case. Okay. So if I have to delete the node of 56, now how do I delete it? So we'll just uh, redraw the tree. So the tree is going to be like this. So now 45. 
now we have got 39 and instead of this 56 i can replace first i'll try to replace with the smallest value so uh, the smallest value in the right subtree is the in order successor okay so in order successor what is the smallest value in the right subtree the smallest value is 78 right so 78 so i'll replace with 78 and 78's right is going to be 80 fine and the rest all is going to be same so 54 and then 55 so this is one way of deleting the node 56 so based on the in order successor right so let me show you how to perform the uh, deletion operation by using the in order predecessor method so in order predecessor so if it is in order predecessor you are supposed to replace the value with the largest value in the left subtree right so we have to replace the node 56 with the largest value in the left subtree so how do you do that so let us draw it node 45 39 and now this 56 will be replaced with the largest value what is the largest value here in the left subtree it is 55 right so 55 and then it is connected to 54 and then we'll have 78 and 80 fine so this is going to be the updated uh, tree so this is how we delete uh, the node which has got the two children okay fine now let us write down the uh, pseudocode so the step one of the a pseudocode would be to check out whether the tree is null. So, first let us write down the uh, pseudocode. Step 1. So, if the tree is null, what does it mean? So, if the tree is null, then it means that there is no nodes in the tree. And then we can uh, write down that the tree is empty. We cannot, we need not perform the deletion operation, right? So, it is an underflow condition. So, next step 2. So, if the value that you are supposed to delete, okay, so else if, if the value, if you are supposed to delete is lesser than your tree's data, okay, so if your value is lesser than the tree's data, then you perform the deletion on which part of the tree? You perform the deletion on the left part of the tree, right? So, let me first write down the function name. So, it is delete tree comma val okay fine so let us uh, recursively call the function deleting the value on the trees left part comma val else if if the value is greater than the trees data what is trees data trees data is the root node right if the value is greater than the trees data then we perform the deletion operation on the trees right part so trees right comma value fine and now let us move to other condition so say if the tree has got okay so let us move to step so in step three else if if the tree has got its left child okay so trees left and if the node has got the right child okay so it deals with a node by deleting a node with two children fine so if the uh, tree has got left and tree has got right now what do we do we replace by finding the largest node in the left subtree or by replacing with the smallest value in the right subtree right so now let us write down let us use the variable say temp and store the largest value finding the largest node in the left part of the tree so it is on the trees left okay let us store it in temp and then we'll replace the data of the temp with the root node right so the node which we are going to delete so how do we write down so set trees data which will be equal to what temps data fine so here let me show you this so the temp here in this 
uh, three is d uh, 55 right so 55 is the largest value in the uh, left subtree so the largest value in the left subtree is 55 and now you store this 55 in the what temp right so you store 55 in the temp and this temp's data will now be replaced with the tree's data which is nothing but the root node the node which we are going to delete right so trees data which is a root node fine so hope now you have understood what we have written in the pseudocode fine now so now we can recursively call the deletion uh, function now let us perform the delete function so deleting the uh, trees left child and then replacing it with what temps data Fine. So, this is how we deal with the deletion of a node with two children. Now, let us consider, okay, a case where step four. Now, say that if the node has got no children, okay. So, how do you write down if the trees left is equal to null and if your trees right is null so if you have got your trees left is null and trees right is null then you, it is just enough that you delete the node right so when you delete the node what is going to be your tree you set the tree as null so you just have to delete the uh, node itself right so the tree will become null tree has the value which is to be deleted right fine fine now step five okay we'll write down an else if statement if a node has got only left side say that if your trees left is not equal to null so what does this not equal to null means if there is a node which has got only left child a node deleting a node with one child okay so if it is on the left child now you set the child node as its what root right so we replace the child node as its parent uh, with a uh, child node as its node's parent so how do we do that we set the uh, root node the uh, tree to be replaced with the trees left which is a left child right if not if the node has, if you are supposed to perform the deletion uh, on the trees right child okay so if there is the node which we are supposed to delete which has got only one right child okay how do we set we set we replace the right child with the root of the node right so it becomes the parent the child will become the parent so we'll replace the trees right with the tree fine so this is how we perform the uh, deletion operation in a binary search tree and step six is to uh, exit so hope now you have understood how to perform the uh, deletion operation in a binary search tree